Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the, week, of the bi-weekly contest 56, minimum cost to reach destination in time. So uh, I, I feel really sad about this one because I knew how to do it and I tried it in different ways, but I was just being dumb, to be honest. Um, I really should have gotten this way earlier. I had six wrong answers because I, I was playing around with, with different ways of solving it. But, but the short answer is that I just did it on the wrong dimension. Um, so the so this is going to be a dice is the shortest path problem and a dicerous problem. And one thing to keep in mind about the shortest path is that is that it is a greedy problem. Right, with the shortest path, it is greedy in that you know. So you're trying to when you reach a node or some sort of node, um, the, when you reach it it is already going to be the best uh, time or, or it's going to be best in whatever you're optimizing. So I made a mistake here in that I actually tried to optimize by cost first and that was just really bad. You can watch me solve it live during the contest next um, after my explanation. But, but basically, the key thing to note is that you don't want to do loops, right? Because if you do loops, you're going to get around forever maybe the first thing to notice is that max time is a thousand so you can't do things based on max time uh based on on the notion of max time and n where n is the number of nodes as long as you don't keep on doing self loops and fill everything up the other thing to know is that edges is also a thousand um so you're able to do this in good time as long as you don't keep on revisiting the same nodes multiple times um, or same if you don't reuse the same edges in a loopy kind of way, you should be able to be fast enough. Because keep in mind that this is in each edge on each node, this total number of edges. So, and I really should have been able to do this much faster, but I am just not in a good shape, I suppose. Um, but yeah, but basically with Dijkstra, you're trying to use heap, and that's basically here. And I'll go over the the basic idea of Dijkstra first, and then we'll go over the after the change that we need for this one. But basically here, um, in our notes, it's going to be actually time, and instead of just our notes, you know, usually when you do Dijkstra, you have a node, and, and here you're trying to optimize, or previously you would optimize for some time, but here our our node is actually node and time, as a, as a new node. You go node prime, say, right? So basically, because what what does this mean? That means that at any given time, we want to at every node and time pair, we want to minimize the number of costs. So that's basically the idea here. Um, this is in the beginning. This is straightforward uh, parsing of the the input. We convert it to an edge list. Um, we set some infinity. We set the best. Again, this our best now is is. It's just Dijkstra, but but best of mm, I I J is equal to the the minimum min cost of no I at instance J, right? Instant time J. Okay. And here the idea is that we are going to to push. We want to minimize the, the time. And here, this is where I made the mistake during my contest, is that I actually um, did the frontier with respect to cost. So we're trying to figure out the cost. But actually, what you want to do is have the frontier be time, because then now you have an invariant. And what that means is that at this given time, we also store the lowest cost of the node, of every... Um, of every original graphs node and because what that means is that when we process we when we process this we um so this looks so the rest of this is going to be standard dice drew i'm not going to go over it too deeply um but because this is dice drew, just you know if you are having issues with this part definitely um Definitely practice other dice problem. So I'm going to ch talk about instead um, the optim the change you need to make for this dice problem, which is that okay. So because we're looking at the time component, the time dimension, and that means that because now we're optimizing by time, time is going to be 
strictly increasing, right? And and because time is strictly increasing, that means that if the cost is higher than the previous best cost that we have, then that means that we are already. That means that it costs more time and more money, right? If it has more time and more money, then it's never going to be the answer. So that's basically why we have this optimization here, and also this optimization here. And this is the only change from the standard Dijkstra to make it fast enough. Um, is because if if this gives us a higher cost, and we know that the time is going to be a higher time, just because we know that all the time is going forward. Um, that's basically it. Um, yeah. And... And that's basically the idea behind this problem. Um, basically, you're trying to eliminate, you're trying to branch out all the things that are, are never going to give you the best answer. And that's basically what I did here. Um, that's all I have for this one. You could kind of see me sloppily solve this during the contest. I eventually did get it, but it did cost me Q3 because I should be able to get Q3. It is what it is. Let me know what you think. And yeah, give me some love and I was... You could watch me self live during the contest next. Oh yeah, just to add a quick, quick uh, thing is that actually for this one, you can sort by cost as well, but you have you basically just make sure that your time, if you're doing the cost frontier, um, you just make sure that your time component doesn't, um, doesn't go beyond that. So it's, it'll look basically the same ex because basically what you, the only thing that you're trying to eliminate is something that is both cost more and takes more time. So as long as you're able to eliminate that, it becomes doable. I should have been able to do this during the contest, but I think I was just rushing it too much trying to think of cute way. It is what it is. Anyway, thanks for your support. I will see you later. Okay, let's skip ahead real quick. I don't know. A lot of people seems to have gotten this one, so should be able to get this one quickly. Hopefully, ideally. 25 people, so maybe not that many people. Um... Minimum cost. Hmm. What, so what, what am I saying? Okay. So it costs both edges and minutes. So then it is the question of is there... Can we binary search on any of these? Hmm. Summation of the passing fees. And the cost is on the city. So max time is 30 minutes. What happens if I do a breath first? Dystra. Dystra on time and cost. Mm. Does that make sense? Time is a 
thousand. And this time equals a thousand means. That means that what's max time? Max time is equals to a thousand. So that's the bigger one. Is it? Mm. Yeah, I think so. I think just a million nodes. That's going to be really expensive, though, for Dijkstra. But people have gotten it pretty quickly, so maybe that is roughly right. I don't know. Okay. What is N? Edges between two nodes, we would there are a thousand edges each, so that's that's gonna be too slow. We do it the dumb way. Mm, maybe you cannot do dice true in the dumb way. You do dynamic programming. Uh, maybe, but it's still the same cost. It's still too expensive to go to because it's like n cube or something, n square state, n cube things. Yeah. Can we reduce that dynamic programming by time? The graph could get intense though. Hmm. Min cost doesn't make sense either because summation of passing fees.
that. Okay. Hmm. That point is too slow anyway, still. Mm. Given this graph, even binary search is too slow. Oh no. How would you do it if you have main cause of a path? I'm missing something weird. I don't think I'm missing anything weird, but. Oh, I am missing something weird. The number of total edges is only a thousand. I am dumb. Okay, so what does that mean for me? Then we plus e. Okay, I am dumb then. Okay, fine. I missed that. I thought each node could be a thousand. So then, okay. Oh, I am dumb. Okay, fine. Hmm. Time cost X, which is zero. Okay. So right. cost time node. We'll minimize the cost. Well, actually, I think the cost is the sauce, so that's uh, okay. Oh. 
T is greater than the current cost plus and T plus oh man and T is less than equal to max time. Then we do this, and then we do T, that's the cost, that's the time, and that's the node, okay? You also want to do okay. If x is equal to n minus one, then n is equal to minus n and t. Continue. Yeah. Answer. Okay, there's also one more for the dice if best of x t is greater than cost continue. Okay. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, so it does some stuff. Let's go some zero to one and P. Hmm. Why am I? Not right. Twenty five. On oh, node three, isn't that where we want to go? No, we're gonna go no whatever. Ten. What? Oh, that's the cost. Mm, this is not right. This is T plus N T. Hmm, still not right, but. Twenty six, twenty six. Eh, okay, I mean it's something. It's not the right thing, but so okay. So. I just look at one of these. Why am I all the way up to three hundred costs? Oh, because of all the time, I guess. They should check at eleven. Hmm. Oh, whoops. If I meant it, meant it the other way. Whoops, see daisies. Still twenty six. Wait, what? Hmm. 
So why is this not at 11? Hmm. Oh, whoops. I am dumb. Okay. I don't know. If they, I mean, in my timeout, but at least hopefully it's more correct. Um, let's see. Also, I feel like, to be honest, if this was not Python, I have no doubt that this would be fast enough. So I might need to rewrite it in a different language. Um, because basically, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit sad. Maybe I'm wrong on that, to be honest. Let's think about the analysis first. Real quick. Well, we have a million nodes. I think we're looping. We don't want to loop is the answer, but Checking that it compiles, okay. Four million should be good enough, actually. Is that true? Yeah, maybe. Should be okay. Let's make it 25, why not? Okay, still good on the compiling. It's been a while. I haven't done C++ in a while, so... So it's been a while. Mm. I guess it doesn't really matter if we're minimizing by time or...
Yeah, it's still good. Just thinking for a second. Forget the top of syntax. to appear so huh, this is so stupid and I don't even know if this works to be honest so So that looks good. Let's give it a submit. Might still time out, but hopefully it's slightly faster. Mm. Well, it seems like it times off earlier even. That is actually kind of sad. So it should be just a million pumps log in, but maybe I do more than... Uh, I see. If one... The thing is that we look at each edge more than once. That's my problem. Uh, this is just one of those contests where I don't know how to do anything. Yeah, now that I think about it, it doesn't really make sense the way that I did it, but...
Is that we filter our way, but how do we make sure that we don't do sub loops? My problem right here now is that I do get into loops. I have to do one more optimization somehow. Can I do a binary search on the cost? So the cost is going to be at most a million. And then it just becomes simple Dijkstra. Mm, let's try that. Half an hour left. Ugh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do it in five lunch just in case. Um, doesn't make sense because at the worst you just do the max cost which is what we're doing here now anyway so hmm, that's why I didn't do it the first place but how do I <sighs> this is like my worst contest in a while thing is you want to be able to get to some place at a later time and also it has a min cost right how do you eliminate that one Because if you want to come in later, but has a higher cost, how do you do that? How do you prevent yourself from doing that? How do you get how do you choose to check that it doesn't get dominated? So that is the question. All right. So we just want to make sure that we don't go in loops, right? Mm. Maybe we could at least keep, we move the most obvious one.
I mean, that seems fast enough, but what if I don't have this thingy? Mm, if I don't have it, it's still... Is this faster? Maybe slightly, but... But there's still so many different cycles. This is in terms of cost. It's faster, but I don't know if this is right. Eh, let's give it a YOLO. It's like four times faster, but okay. So I get a wrong answer on this one. I wasn't sure about, but I also have no idea how to do it. Hmm. How to prevent self loops? That's the question. Doesn't even seem that much faster. <laughs> it just seems random. If I could prevent self loops, then it should be good. But I'm trying to find the dominating one. If it gets dominated, then what happens? So, okay.
I do. Or Mobus is greater than Well, that's not good. Hmm. Why is this more? It's a little bit faster, but it's not really that much faster, to be honest. Well, let's give it a go, because I have no idea. No other things to do. But I think I just need to think about this in a different way. And it's not even right. Okay, fine. I thought there, it might not be right. It's a little bit greedy, but... Huh. Why am I getting this well? A lot of people got this one, but I can't do it. Uh, I think if I could handle the looping situation, I could fix it, but I can't do it. Why am I so bad at this? My graph theory is really weak nowadays.
I mean, the DP solution is the same, right? Because they could just all be ones, and then that would be a mess going back and forth. Oh, we're sorting by time, right? Yeah. Oh. Not sorting by time. Hmm. Does that matter? I don't imagine it matters. But maybe now it isn't different properly. If we sort by time, then. Okay, I am dumb. Okay, so if we sort by time, then the cost will have to be lower, right? TCX, what am I getting? Oh. Why am I getting this? Shouldn't matter, right? T is 36. I mean, that's true that that's how it bounds, but wouldn't this be bounded? Huh? Did I mess something up? So it goes over. Why? Oh, wait. Uh, I lost my earlier test case, unfortunately. But now that means that if the cost Okay, I mean, I thought that we can do this. I mean, obviously, I don't. I think if I just remove this, it still works. But but is it fast enough? I only have seven minutes, so I might as well YOLO submit, but I don't know. I wish I kept the, the test case answer 1158 or something. Hmm. It's too slow, it seems like. Because now we have more time and more whatever, right? Let 
guess that's solve it. Um, uh, I am dumb dumb. Okay. That was... Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest and this problem and this explanation. I will see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, stay cool, and to good mental health. Bye-bye.